I think there's a beautiful array of impacts for this project. In the short term, we are capturing water in a real way. The water from this bioswale is going to support a number of families in our community, and that's beautiful. A bioswale is simply a, a depression two or three feet deep that sits at the base of, in our case, Goss Canyon. The Verdugo Groundwater Basin is the source of about 50 to 60 percent of the drinking water for the residents in La Crescenta. The bioswale provides a place for stormwater that's coming down through the canyon to slow down and have a place to absorb into the ground. Part of the benefit to the bioswale is not only providing a place to capture stormwater to recharge our aquifer, but also it keeps more of the water on site uh, to support our local flora and fauna. This project represents cutting through barriers that we all face, right? There's water rights, there's legal issues, there's red tape, bureaucracy, and these things take time, they're hard to fight through. But instead of being defined by what is restricting us, stepping outside that box and seeing who are our friends out there? What kind of assets do we have? And how can we creatively bring these things together? You know, if we look into the future and we think about the impact 10, 20 years from now, this is in perpetuity. Once we build it, it's always gonna rain. It's always gonna percolate into the basin. What we've done here in partnership with the Arroyos and Foothills Conservancy is to shape our destiny. I think the real value of this project is igniting that imagination, not only within our community, but our region and statewide. The effectiveness of community collaboration between a nonprofit, the Arroyos and Foothills Conservancy, and their volunteer group, the Friends of Rosemont, a public agency in the Crescenta Valley Water District, and the LA County Flood Control District. That partnership and that collaboration provided a real mechanism for us to not only design and build uh, a project like this, but uh, to create a sense of uh, community out of it. We have volunteers here now maintaining the project. We had public workers actually constructed in the first place. It's been a terrific partnership. And to me, uh, that just really allowed this to come to fruition. It doesn't always take a huge $100 million project. You can stitch a dozen of these projects and we can have the same impact. And there can be a nexus between a nature-based solution that partners with the community. I think that's really beautiful and the more we can replicate it, the better.